Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this reading is a reading, so I'll get to that in a moment. So this reading here is a general reading, so it might not resonate with everybody. So please do take whatever resonates with you and just leave the rest of it aside. If ever though you do have any questions um, and you would like to have your own personal reading, may it be about your life, about your career, about your relationship, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com so I can offer you the different possibilities that we have to go and find those answers that you're searching for. You can find all of my contact information right below into the YouTube drop box also. And so if ever there's anything that doesn't agree with you, it doesn't resonate, it just doesn't seem well, then just toss it aside, okay? It's a general reading, so it's absolutely normal. It happens, just leave it there. Um, if you um, do enjoy the channel and you have not yet subscribed, please do take a brief moment of your time to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself, and it would be mostly appreciated. So let's see what is going on. Let's just flip these over. And by the way, this is for the sign of Gemini, okay? Gemini. So I have an owl, I have a witch's circle, I have a witch, I have a familiar, and I have a scarab, and I'm going to finish it off with an oracle. Now, of course, this being a different formula, a different way of doing things, your messages are going to be completely different, and that is the point, to give you different vibes, different energies, different messages than what you would get normally. So let's go for it. Let's begin with the owl. We all know a little bit what an owl does, right? They have really big eyes, and they look around, and, you know, they, they look around at night. They have big eyes to see things, and that is what I'm getting to, okay? So... Owls, they do symbolize wisdom. They do. The ability to see things, though, that are hidden. Omens, deception, observation, and total truth. This is what the owl symbolizes. You need to trust your intuition at this time during the month of November. You need to pay attention to what is going on into your world. And you will not only instinctively know what to do to solve those issues that have been weighing heavily on your mind. You are going to be able to see and bring about things that are yet to come. So, what is it that has been weighing upon your shoulders for quite some time? It's going to be different for every viewer out there. What is it? You are going to have the key. You're going to have the opportunity to get that weight off of your shoulders. To be free again okay but again you do have to be careful I mentioned here and within all of my cards here this is my warning to you because the rest is really about you it's about a little bit of soul searching let's put it that way this here is really about you trying to figure out what is hidden what are the omens hidden you have hidden secrets I know you do and I'm gonna be talking about them here but are there deceptions around you? Are people being completely people that are surrounding you? They are not always truthful. They are somewhat deceitful. Okay, so be very, very careful about that. Um, we're going to move over to my following message here. And my following message is about the witch circle. And the witch circle is going to come and help you out a little bit with the... Um, with the owl over here, when I was talking about the seed and things that are being hidden, well, the witch circle is going to help you. Witch circle is all about, um, you know, when you feel the need to seek out your own sacred space, you know, at times, even if you're not able to run to it when, you know, you need to, because, you know, not all circles are physical. They can also exist as an energy pattern that's created by meditation, by words, by gestures, by visualization, and it can really be with you at all time because the circle here, the circle represents unity. It represents completion. It's continuity. It's wholeness. It's protection. This is your circle of protection. 
Whether you create this circle physically or mentally, you need to call upon it to soothe you whenever you feel the need for a safe haven and you need to eradicate the sometimes harsh effects of the world that is surrounding you, which is over here, okay? What you need to do is this circle, this card is here as a message to tell you you need to find yourself a space. If this works for you, perfect, okay? This is what the witches did. So you need to find your space. You could just visualize a circle or visualize a place where you're feeling safe, where you're feeling happy, where you're feeling whole, okay? Where you can find those answers, where you can be with yourself in those moments where you're not feeling well and when you're not able to access that place physically, okay? So this is a little bit of a safe haven for you if you want and you're not able to get it physically, go for it mentally. We're going to move on now to the witch. Now the witch, I have to say, is really the most powerful card that there is into this deck altogether. So you really are quite lucky to have gotten it. Um, the, the witch here, of course, is a magical tool. Uh, the witch is the most powerful card of all. It represents you and it's a reminder that it is your intentions and your energies that determine the result of any magical or mundane work that you do. The focus, the concentration and desires are within you and they are always at your disposal to make of your deepest, darkest or lightest desires come to fruition. So never doubt. This is about never doubting or overlooking the power of within. It's a gift that you carry forever. You need to use it wisely. So you need to use all those tools that you have within you. But in order to do that, you need to believe in yourself. You need to have that self-confidence. You need to know that you can do it, okay? So this is really about using your focus, your concentration, and your desires to get what it is that you want. The familiar over here, that little kitty cat. The familiar is really all about the um, secrets. This is about you. The message of this card is showing you that you, oh, well, is all about showing who you really are and revealing your truths about yourself that you've locked away for a very long time. Not just to others, but to yourself as well. There's a lot of things you're hiding from yourself. Now, these have become burdensome and you need to stop carrying that weight, that heavy weight around. And it's just time for you to come out of your hiding place and to show your true colors. So this is not even necessarily, yes, most possibly there are some truths that you have not revealed to people that are around you that are burdensome and you need to get off of your chest. But uh, I have to say that some of them off is also hidden within you. Okay, so you need to tap into that intuition. You need to tap into yourself a little bit and you need to find out what exactly, what is it? What is that weight that is upon your shoulders that you can't get rid of because it's buried inside of you because you just don't want it to come out and it's been there for so long. Try and tap into it. Try and find out what it is so you can release it. This is what the message that I'm getting here from the universe for you here is to release it. You need to get rid of it. It's heavy. It's bothering you. You need to expel it as you can okay so try and tap into it as best as you can and the scarab is a little bit going into the same sense I have to say as I said this is a lot about you um, it's a lot about working on yourself and the scarab here is you've been in the process of trying to change your world for a long time now there are some things you don't like and it's been more than a struggle than, than what you anticipated. So do not forget that nothing in life is carved in stone and anything can be changed or transformed into what you want it to be, even if it seems like an uphill battle. You need to emulate the perseverance of the beetle to get things done. Okay, so you can get things done. This card here is really trying to give you the message that whatever it is that you want to change within your life, you can do it and you've been wanting to do it for a long time. So say your truth, okay? Expel, tell your truth, go for it. Watch out for anybody who's around you who might not be, you know, um, truthful to you. The deceit, same thing. And you move on forward and you do whatever that is that you have to do to get that weight upon your shoulders, to move forward, to get that happiness right back on track. Um, we're gonna move over to your Oracle card over here. Your oracle card is 
about the concealment. So once again, this is about the cloak. It's you've been hiding into the shadows, too afraid to reveal your true nature and your beliefs. So your cloak and your dagger routine can conceal you no longer for you are being called to come out of the broom closet and to stand proud. And when you step into alignment, okay, with the witch within, the ancestors will support you fully. Be safe in the knowledge that no longer can you be persecuted in this physical sense. The days of drowning, stoning, burning are long gone. You need to be strong and you need to rise above any judgments. Remember that any hurtful words directed at you will only damage the perpetrator and not you. For what, you, for what anyone gives out, comes right back to them so instead embrace all that you are shine brightly as you declare to the world your truth allow your inner wisdom to accompany you as you take those first brave steps steps of authenticity to what will ultimately be the freedom to live your life as the real you so that being said, my dear friends, Gemini, I hope that you enjoyed the reading. I hope that it resonated with you. Um, if you do have any questions, you would like to have a personal reading, you can contact me at romanceabletarot at gmail.com. 